Hello, this is Steve Piper. You're listening to Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hardley. This show is brought to you in part by Axiom Printing, Western New York's award-winning local leader in document solutions, www.axiomoffice.com. Rolling Hills Radio is supported by Teresa Quinn Esquire and underwritten by the Jamestown Gazette, a hometown paper providing residents and businesses with positive stories and timely information. Welcome to Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hardley. Join us for an hour of music and conversation from Shawbucks in Jamestown, New York. Tonight's guests are Joe Kirkston and John Latini. Now please welcome our host, Ken Hardley. I went down to the crossroads and fell down on my knees. I went down to the crossroads and fell down on my knees. I asked Lord for mercy, save me if you please. I went down to the crossroads, tried to flee. And try to flag it right. But nobody seemed to know me. Everybody just passed me by. Take that right up by my side. I'm going down to Rosedale and take my right up by my side. You still bear a house, babe, down the riverside. You can run, you can run to my friend Bo Willie Brown. I believe I'm singing down. This program is made possible by listeners like you. For information on how you can be part of a live radio audience or support live radio, write to info at kenhardley.com. This program is supported by the Chautauqua County Chamber of Commerce, supporting economic, workforce, and tourism development in Chautauqua County. Visit them online at chautauquachamber.org. Also, the Cherry Lounge. The Cherry Lounge is a full-service bar and restaurant located in the heart of downtown Jamestown at 326 Cherry Street. Find them on Facebook at The Cherry Lounge. Thank you, Julius Isla Hanley. And welcome to Rolling Hills Radio, brought to you from Shawbucks, the club concert venue nestled in the heart of the entertainment district of Jamestown, New York, right across the street from the National Comedy Center. On Rolling Hills Radio, you will hear a wide range of Americana music. Uh, this episode, we're going to feature a real bluesy guy. But first, we have a man who has received a lot of major awards, including the prestigious Album of the Year Award during the 21st Annual Folk Alliance Conference in Memphis, Tennessee, for his 2009 recording, Abel, Baker, Charlie, and God. This album, quote, ended the year as the number one most aired CD by folk acoustic radio DJs in the United States. Yeah. 
But I'll tell you what, there are so many great performers in this genre right now to stand out. As Sing Out Magazine says, an artist has to go beyond good, and Joe does. Please welcome Joe Crookston to the Rolling Hills radio stage with Fall Down as the River. Thank you, Ken. When my life is over and I have gone away I'm gonna leave this big old world and the trouble and the pain And if I get to heaven, I will not stay I'll turn myself around again and fall down as the rain finally reach the ground I'll soak into the side I'll turn myself around again come up as golden ride come up as golden ride come up as golden ride turn myself around again come up as golden ride. turn dry and brown I'll lay me down to rest I'll turn myself around again as part of an eagle's nest part of an eagle's nest part of an eagle's nest I'll turn myself around again as part of an eagle's nest part of an eagle's nest part of an eagle's nest I'll turn myself around again as part of an from that tree I'll turn myself around again as part of the mystery part of the mystery part of the mystery I'll turn myself around again as part of the mystery part of the mystery part of the mystery I'll turn myself around again as part Mystery. When my life is over and I have gone away, I'm going to leave this big old world and the trouble and the pain. And if I get to heaven, I will not stay. I'll turn myself around again and fall down.
Joe Crookston. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Got some fine pick in there, buddy. Fall down as the rain. That was absolutely beautiful. Uh, the song, if I if I've got it right, has to do with maybe the circle of life and. Uh, yeah, all sometimes that. I I don't think of it as like a a spiritual song as much as a human song. It's kind of like life and cycles of life and death and rebirth and just the kind of I love that. I love kind of maybe shooting my arrow of writing creativity towards that like universal qualities, specific but the universal and I. Uh, I love that song and that it kind of holds a lot of different philosophies. People come up to me and say, oh, sure. you know, I, I see you're Buddhist. I say, yes. And they say, oh, are you a Christian? I say, yes. <laughs> and they say, are you a pagan? I say, yes. But in a way, it's not really any of those. It's kind of looking into the, the, the kind of universal quality of being human, I guess. So that's where I'm at. The universal quality of being human, yeah. Okay. Which speaks to all of those, I mean, it speaks to all of those spiritual traditions, maybe. What the, it is a spiritual song if you're talking about universal humanness or whatever. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, Thich Nhat Hanh, the wonderful Zen monk, actually sang that song, yes, right? Yes, that's right. Thich yeah. Nhat Hanh himself. Yeah. You, um, you have won so many awards, I don't even know where to start. Album of the Year in 2009 for Abel Baker, Charlie Dog. Uh, um, uh, most played, most aired album by folk DJs in 2016, the Folk Alliance International Artists in Residence. So tell, tell us about that in particular, 2016 Folk Alliance Artists. Yeah, that was amazing. I, uh, I got a call from Folk Alliance. They said, basically, could you, Joe, could you collaborate with the National World War I Museum in Kansas City, Missouri, and would you go down in the basement archive of the World War I Museum and basically discover something and create uh, music or uh, art based on what you find in the basement of the archives. And I knew right away if I was going to write a song about World War I, it was going to be about uh, a human being. It was going to be a human story. And, and I thought right away, man, I'm going to find a, a woman who is in World War I who had never been heard of, no one ever knew. So I found a woman, Florence Hemphill, who was a nurse based in the trenches. And for two years, and she had written about 200 letters from France back to her family in Wilson County, handwriting in cursive on this blue soap paper. And I was able to lift her words off of the page, and uh, I wrote a song, and I came. And speaking of Judy Collins, you mentioned earlier, uh, he said, I'd like you to come and, and present it at the, the keynote speech with Judy Collins. Wow. I'm like, no pressure. OK, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so um, Florence Hemphill is her name. and. Uh, uh, wrote the song based on letters that she wrote from France, yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. Well, I see you've got your slide guitar ready for action. Why don't you go ahead and play another song yeah, for us, ladies and gentlemen. It. Joe Crookston. Great. Thank you. I'll play you a rattlesnake song here. I collect rattlesnakes. No, I collect rattlesnake tails, I should say. We're supposed to keep the devil away, keep the evil spirits at bay. It hasn't worked yet. I met a girl from Orangeburg and she was a queen She's a little bit lovely and a little bit mean And she walked in in a ruby dress Across the floor with a graceful mess And she said hi and I said yeah she walked in the room in a ruby red dress. And she's a little bit lovely and a little bit mean. She's an angel, a rattlesnake somewhere in between. The rarest bird that I'd ever seen. She's a little bit lovely and a little bit mean. She 
She asked me to dance and I felt like a king. She told me that I was the sweetest thing. We walk to the meadow where the honeysuckle grows, where the jasmine blooms and the moonlight glows. And we swam in the river without any clothes. And we slept in the meadow where the honeysuckle grows. She's a little bit lovely and a little bit mean. She's an angel, a rattlesnake somewhere in between. Ever seen. She's a little bit lovely. How's it go? And a little bit me. Oh, yeah. And the sun rose like fire in the cool morning air. And I turned to my love, but she wasn't there. And I looked in the pines and along the fence rail, and I called out her name to no avail. On a rock in the grass where we slept by the trail, was a ruby red dress and a rattlesnake tail. She's a little bit lovely and a little bit mean. She's an angel, a rattlesnake somewhere in between. The rarest bird that I'd ever seen. She's a little bit lovely and a little bit Thank you so much. Joe Crookston. Thank you. Joe Crookston. For more about him, log on to www.joecrookston.com. Well, next we have a guy uh, who was described by the Lansing, Michigan Blues Fest as having, quote, an honest, no-nonsense commitment to real songs about real people. He's a slick blues player who writes songs that tell clever tales. Latini has been awarded the Metro Detroit Songwriting Grand Prize, as well as being a two-time winner of the Detroit Blues Challenge. Wha with his guitar, he's an intense, irresistible musician who brings years of experience and talent to the stage. He is a performer who commands the stage, singing the blues directly from his heart and soul. He's going to uh, start, off with a <laughs> start off with a song from his brand new album, Blues make me feel good. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Latini back to the Rolling Hills Radio stage. I thank you, Ken. Well, I could play red eye country. I play brown eyed soul. Wild eyes, wide open, rock and roll. I play glory low. Blue suede shoes. Oh, really? Me jails is them black eyed blue. My baby loved me having a more than one way lay a name. I love the two time, baby, show his check. I said, That's all I got left. So she hit me with her right now. Stay me up, sugar. We'll see if I still got some fight. We do that more night, black eyed blue. Sing it back all night. Oh, my baby, do me right. Sing all night. 
She don't bother turning out that lady. She stand me up to my full height. We do them all night, black eyed blue. Everybody, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be back in your beautiful town. It's great and to thank you all for coming. I would have been awkward if you guys weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you back. This is your, uh, we counted, didn't we? Uh, this is your seventh appearance on Rolling Hills Radio. Is that right? It's true. You know? <laughs> I wonder how it's going to last now that it's being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> well, th this could be it. It's been great to have you, though. It's my great pleasure to yeah, be here yeah. again, Ken. Yeah. Thank you. Imagine my surprise a little while back. Actually, I wasn't surprised at all, but it was a very wonderful thing to take a look at the Roots Music Report, based on, uh, and that's based on radio play on blues stations. And uh, you were entered uh, 12th, right alongside of the fabulous Thunderbirds and Melissa Etheridge. That was wild. Yeah. How about right. John Latini. Yeah, it was, it was humbling, you know, flattering. I mean, there I was. It was, uh, I guess, uh, January of last year. And I entered, the, I entered the charts at number 12, and I thought, this is easy. <laughs> uh, then I played chutes and ladders all the way down, you know, <laughs> from then on. <laughs> Hell of a ride. <laughs> well, thank God I had that burlap bag under me. I would have skinned <laughs> some, you know, <laughs> left some skin on the old ramp. <laughs> yeah, well. Maybe the fabulous Thunderbird saw your name on there momentarily while you were up there. <laughs> I'd like to think. Uh, well, I'd like to think, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're a blues player. Now, a lot of times we think of the blues as what we call in the business one, four, five. Uh, that is the root chord, and then the four chord, and the five chord. Kind of repetitious and all that stuff. You play all these chords that have names like, I don't know what, sixth and thirteenth and things like that. That's kind of like jazz. Tell us about that. Well, you know, I mean, they're both American musics, and uh, they uh, both forms represent American music, perhaps, I should say. And uh, I, I guess I would think of jazz as an extension in some ways of the blues. Um, you know, it moves me. It moves me, Ken. I don't know what, what you call you? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if somebody I knew comes to me and says, is that blues or is that jazz? What should I tell them? Well, I would say uh, that uh, jazz, if it's a blues fella, tell them that's jazz. <laughs> if it's a jazz guy or woman that knows about jazz, please don't say that. Or th they'll say, he <laughs> entered at what? <laughs> Twelve? Twelve hundred and twelve, I would think, if that's jazz. <laughs> Well, you got another song for us. It's kind of a touching song called Yesterday I Painted Your Room about yeah. your... I, I shouldn't even say what it's about. You don't like that. Well, I don't mind, Ken. Uh, in case some of the folks here don't speak English, maybe you want to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to outline it in the song, but hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Jonesy Latini. <laughs> Before this one, can I know it's going to throw the timeline way out? 
Yeah, yeah. I'll try to make it quick. No, that gives me a moment to let the people on the radio know that this guy's wearing some shoes that you will not believe. <laughs> if you're listening on the radio, you will want to. Hey, uh, you guys, did any of you come and see my buddy Zig Zeitler last uh, show? <laughs> Was he wearing shoes? <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't. Minor sixth, Ken. Caught in the sixth work on Wednesday. Thursday I punched in. Friday's when we always used to let the fun begin. But Saturday was the 14th day. Two weeks is all it's been. Yesterday I painted your room It was the fourth day of November Back in 1985 You were barely buzzing When you came out of your hive And even five weeks earlier Than you were to arrive and yesterday I painted your room You're not my little baby no more But I'm getting used to used to being your old man So I spackled all the holes he left And I felt my spirits fall Drag the bed and chest of drawers into the hall. And then I swept it out and cut it in. And I rolled it onto the wall. Yesterday I painted your room. You're not my little baby no more. But I'm getting you. To used to be in your old man. So I spack a lot of holes you left, and I felt my spirits fall. Yesterday I painted your room. Gentlemen, John Latino. Well, for more information about John, log on to johnlatini.com, and we'll be back after the break with more music and conversation with our guests. We're going to do an old song by the Mississippi Sheets. You are listening to Rolling Hills Radio, episode 71. If you would like to be part of our live radio audience, log on to ShautauquaChamber.org to purchase tickets. We'll be back after the break with more from John Latini and Joe Crookston. Hello, this is Marla Harris. You are listening to Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hardley. second half of our show begins in just a minute. If you would like to be included on the Rolling Hills email distribution list, send your email address to info at kenhardley.com. You can also find Rolling Hills Radio on Facebook or at rollinghillsradio.org. And now, back to Rolling Hills Radio. Thank you, Julius Isla Handley. And we have lots more to go here from Shawbox in Jamestown, New York right across the street from the National Comedy Center. You know, we're adding TV stations all the time, and I'm happy to announce that you can now watch Rolling Hills Radio on Open Stage Media, broadcasting out of Schenectady in the capital region of New York State. On Stage Media 16 features all kinds of local ideas and thoughts on cable TV, and now Rolling Hills Radio is part of that network. So welcome to Open Stage Media as part of the Rolling Hills Radio broadcast family. 
Rolling Hills Radio is accessible to the public on low power radio, local access cable, and other non-commercial outlets. It's important, maybe more important than ever, that the arts are readily and affordably available and we're always vigilant for ways to assure that this music reaches its public. That means this show can be found in places that are other than mainstream. Getting out of the mainstream of the mass media means that you will hear things that you maybe otherwise never would have imagined. Specialized information, unusual viewpoints, esoteric facts. For example, I was recently listening to a low power radio station near me, and I found out that the medical term for ice cream headache is sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. <laughs> Coincidentally, I'm writing a song about how mainstream cable network news can be like an ice cream headache. <laughs> so if anyone who has ideas about what might rhyme with sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia, please do let me know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Of course, of course. <laughs> I said, be my valentine, and I instantly corralled you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. John Latini, what the? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go to Joe Crookston now, shall we? <laughs> we um, ladies and gentlemen, back at the Rolling Hills radio stage with the black dress, Joe Crookston. All right, thank you. My friends Tom and Vicky down in Texas, they, they love uh, logging on and listening to radio shows, and I know they're going to listen to your show. And uh, 42 years they've been married, I'm going to send out a, a long-distance cheating song to them for their 42nd anniversary. <laughs> Woman alone in the black dress At the table in the corner with the tall glass Sipping on her wine Man, she's looking fine I'm across the room, a star-struck man I'm in love with a woman with a ring on her hand I'm in love with a woman with a ring on her hand Would you look at those eyes of amber Gazing all around the room I'm walking over her way I could love her any day If she can't melt my heart Nobody can. I'm in love with a woman with a ring on her hand. I'm in love with a woman with a ring on her hand. And now she's looking up at me and grinning. I'm grinning right back at her. I sit down in the empty chair. A little nervous, but I like it here. Good love is hard to understand. I'm in love with a woman with a ring on her hand. Say to her across the table, I've been thinking about you and me, and the hard times that we've been through. I'm still glad that I married you. It was the best thing I ever did, giving you that wedding band. I'm in love with a woman with a ring. I'm in love with a woman with a ring on her hand. I'm in love with a woman with a ring on her hand. Joe Crookston. Yeah. Did you fall for it? 
All right, right? Yeah, there's some pathos right there, Joe. <laughs> Indeed. You really get around. You, ha you play in places like, I'm just going to read a few of the places that this guy has gone recently or is going, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Virginia, Maryland, New Jersey, and I'll just stop there, Ireland. Um, you know, um, what started you? On this <laughs> musical journey. A bad nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it started me on this journey was, uh, I guess, freshman year in high school. I'm sitting next to this guy, Don. I'm new in high school. I'm sitting there in algebra class, and he's looking at a Neil Young songbook. And I said, what are you doing? And, and he goes, I'm learning how to play Heart of Gold by Neil Young. And he said, do you play guitar, Joe? I said, no, I don't, but my mom does. But she plays these little dorky folk songs with like a G, a C chord, a D, occasional E minor in it. And, uh, and I said, you know, so they're not so cool. I said, what are the chords in that Neil Young song? <laughs> and Don Bedell said, uh, G, C, D, and an <laughs> occasional E minor. And I thought, wow, my mom is way cooler than I thought she was. So I went home. And I, uh, I said, I want to learn how to play guitar. She showed me how to play E minor, and I went up in my room, and I was like up there. For the le seven months, learning how to play Heart of Gold, and then here we are today. <laughs> okay. And eventually, you learn how to play like a B7. <laughs> then, you know. Yeah, but not the 13th that John plays. I never quite got Yeah, there. that's kind of freakish. <laughs> we, don't know, we don't know what to do about that. But now, uh, you actually trained in classical guitar. Do I have that right? I d yeah, I, I, I went to uh, Kent State University in Ohio. And uh, yeah, Kent State fans here. And I, uh, I studied, I went in as a classical guitar major. And I learned, uh, I sat with a tuxedo and my foot up on a stool. And I learned how to do the whole de -de 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 thing. And I learned a lot about theory and guitar and, and all of that and composition. And I really got a lot out of it. And then a friend of mine said, do you want to go to the Kent State Folk Festival? And I said, what's a folk festival? And she said, just trust me, it's a bunch of music workshops. So we went to the Kent State Folk Festival and about a thousand people in an auditorium and songwriters were up there playing and picking the blues and the horse flies from Ithaca, New York played that oh night. Yeah. And, um, and uh, it blew my mind. I was like, this is what I want to do. And so I, it, I made the shift from classical. I sold my classical guitar. I bought a steel string, and I never looked back. Oh, and yeah. we're glad you didn't look back. Yeah. Joe's got a brand new album out, self-titled. It's called Joe Crookston, and he's got a song for that uh, from this album called Seven Seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Joe Crookston. <laughs> sitting here on the stage, this beautiful place, looking out the window, watching the snow fall, thinking about playing this song. Driving home tonight on Highway 9, and the wind chill factor falling. And the ice is breaking branches And the radio lady's talking And maybe this is it And maybe this is my time Seven seconds frozen and sublime Maybe this is my time the center line in a counter clockwise spin and the headlights and the red lights flash and I'm circling around again and maybe this is it and maybe this is my Seven seconds, frozen and sublime. Maybe this is 
And the guardrail bar and the fishtail car in the oncoming lane. And I spin around my last countdown seven, six, five, four, three, two, maybe this is it. Maybe. Seven seconds frozen and sublime. Maybe this is, maybe this is my time. Pulling from the ditch, I take a breath, and I ponder home and life and death. Through the snow, looking back and forth, I tap the gas, and now I'm heading north. Maybe this is it. Maybe. Seven seconds frozen and sublime. Maybe this is my Joe Crookson. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Well, we got a treat coming up right now because uh, John Latini is going to play a song that is currently unreleased. So ladies and gentlemen, with Please Don't Marry Me, John Latini. <laughs> Said I'd ask the hell you see I already is not to be my wife. Well, baby, could you please not marry me? I'm begging you down on bending me. Ain't no way I'm gonna be selling my axes for your security. her car so she could drive around downtown tonight. Well, Mama said, ah, who you think you are when you haven't even wrapped my heart up tight? Oh, baby, could you please not marry me? I'm begging you down on bending me. Ain't no way I'm gonna be selling my axes for your security.
he said, I'm gonna have to rake her yard so she could work this Saturday. Mama said, I'm gonna have to break her yard so here this weekend come Saturday. Oh, Mama said, ah, you better make me hard if you wanna see me work that way. Hey, baby, could you please not marry me? I'm begging you down on bend me. Ain't no way I'm gonna be selling my axes or losing my card game or quitting my buddies for your security. stuff, Jonesy. John Latini right there. Yeah. John Latini. Okay, not only is Jonesy a, a, a great hip man about town, a wonderful musician, an incredible songwriter, and uh, he travels all around playing his music for folks, but also Jonesy is a, uh, uh, an organizer of, of, of big events. Now you, about 11 or 12 years ago, started a unique project called Above the Bridge Songwriting Weekend. Tell us about that. All right. Well, uh, in the uh, month of June, it's now, it, it started out as one weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but now it's grown uh, into two weekends, the third and fourth weekend of June, and up in the upper peninsula of Michigan, in a beautiful little town called uh, Curtis, Michigan, which is the home to the two biggest landlocked lakes in the upper peninsula, the big and little Manistique. And uh, up there at a, a beautiful bed and breakfast inn called uh, Chamberlain's Old Forest Inn. We have a songwriter's weekend and, uh, you know, a lot of attendees come. And there are staff members that talk about uh, perhaps their methodologies for songwriting or little, uh, you know, techniques and tricks and whatnot. And other folks might discuss how to get your uh, songs moving in any direction. And uh, over the course of the tenor or... 11 years it's been really great and we've had folks who arrived for the first year that had maybe no songs or maybe just one song and now you know after coming back many years and applying themselves beyond just our weekend obviously uh, but there are folks that have uh, you know plenty of gigs by themselves now and uh, and a couple of records to their credit so it's, it's very gratifying great that stuff. Uh, so it's like a songwriter's mm -hmm. circle, as it's uh, uh, th uh, workshops. It's workshops, it's critique sessions, yeah. and uh, also like song pulls and, uh, and uh, you know, song circles and whatnot. Open mics uh, for the attendees, and then uh, on Thursday and Friday night, and then on Saturday night is a concert uh, from the staff members. Yeah, great, great, great. And it's, cha you know, beautiful uh, room and board, uh, you know, the chow and the place there, uh, Old Forest Inn is just fantastic. And the, uh, the proprietors, Bud and Kelly Chamberlain, are uh, absolutely the most gracious people you'll ever meet. We like gracious people. Aside from Ken Hardley, that is. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Well, uh, uh, John's got a new album. The blues just makes me feel good. It's a great album, and uh, we're gonna hear a, a song from it right now, right, Jonesy? Uh, Got to have my. Say so, Ken, but that'll be throwing you a curveball from the preordained schedule and agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Timing is everything, you know. I think you should play whatever you want. Now that I think of it. <laughs> <laughs> but despite the fact that I will not be playing a song from that record. <laughs> You guys are not absolved from taking a, a copy home with you, all right? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I was hawking this album, but you know. <laughs> I'm going to play a song from a, a previous record called Lovers, Liars, and Losers. And uh, in this song, I, as your protagonist, embody all three of those qualities. <laughs> this is like the, the follow-up to Joe's uh, black dress. <laughs> When she calls me up and whispers to me softly on the phone, as she wishes we could 
finally be together all alone. And when she says she's sure that something that is wrong can't feel so right, then I don't believe that she holds her husband this tight. When I take a hand in my hand that feels so soft and so warm And when I look into her eyes I see the eye of the storm And when I take her in my arms and she pulls me close with all of my Well I don't believe that she holds her husband this tight she may hold him like a baby she may hold him like a man she may hold him like she holds me in the palm of her hand she may kiss him every morning she may hug him every night but I don't believe that she holds her husband this tight. No, I don't believe a word of what I just heard myself say. Cause if that were true, she would hold on to me at the end of each day. And when I touch her soft and gently, and when I kiss her pretty face, and when she whispers, we can never be discovered in this place, that our hearts must remain secret, though our fire burns so bright, I don't believe that she holds her husband this tight no i don't believe that she holds her husband this tight that's john latini that makes me nervous about you folks, because that song is a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> you you seem more, to like it. <laughs> for more about John Latini, if you dare, johnlatini.com is what you want to <laughs> is what you want to log on to. Well, the th I'll tell you what. The three of us are going to try a standard. It was first recorded in 1930 by the Mississippi Sheiks, and since then it's been done as Western swing, as bluegrass, as folk, blues, and more by such artists as. The Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Howlin' Wolf, Bill Monroe, uh, Ray Charles, Bob Dylan, Jack White, and The Cream. You'll hear some classic blues lyrics in this song, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a try. What do you say, Jones? You're going <laughs> to kick it off sitting on top of the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mississippi River is deep and wide. The woman I love, Lord, she's on the other side. Now she's gone, I don't worry. Cause I'm sitting on top of the world. She called me up from old El Paso. Said, baby, come back home, I'll lead you so. But now she's gone, and I don't worry. Cause I'm sitting on top of the world Roll well, like my peaches Oh, shake my tree To get out of my orchard And leave my peaches be Now she's gone And I don't worry I'm sitting on top of the world In 
the spring one sunny day the woman i love lord lord she went away now she's gone i don't worry because i'm sitting on top of the world sitting here all alone but now she's gone and i don't worry because I'm, I'm sitting on top of the world yeah now she's gone and i don't worry because I'm, I'm sitting on top of the world i said she's gone but i don't worry because i'm sitting on top of the I'll tell you what, any human endeavor is really an expression of that which comes from within. In that regard, all human activity, including creative expression, comes from the same source. As Jack Handy said, to me, boxing is like a ballet, except there's no music, no choreography, and the dancers hit each other. <laughs> but anyway, a, mu a musician must make music, an artist must paint, a poet must write if he is to be ultimately at peace with himself. What one can be, one must be. The great psychologist Abraham Maslow said that. Joe Crookston and John Latini are what they must be to the benefit of all of us. The important thing is that we all recognize and resonate what is within ourselves as well as with others. That is the freedom of the real American spirit. I'm Ken Harley. See you next time. You've been listening to Rolling Hills Radio, episode 71. Special thanks to Joe Crookson and John Latini. The Rolling Hills Radio cast and crew are Technical Director, Bass Eddie Tomasini, Existential Director, Diamond Dick Gould, Finding Ways for You to Hear, Steve Chappell, Woman of Mystery, Nicole Chappell, Merch Director and Bathroom Monitor, Susan George, Speaking Loudly When Needed, Kathy Pasinski, Listening Skills Instruction, Nancy McGuire, and Freezing Moments in Time, Lori Savory. I'm Julia Cecil Hanley, and I talk like this wherever I go. Please join us next time on Rolling Hills Radio. <laughs>